Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Zero, one of one, back again. And we are back on Stationers, playing on Vulcan. Um, I feel like there was something that I was supposed to do right when I started back up again, but I forgot what it was. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here and think about that. Okay, so we have our insulated kits. We got this stuff. We got, uh... Trying to get our little hygiene back up. We'll frolic through the ferns again. See if that helps at all. Probably not. Um, okay, so... Uh, we have our very large building over here that you can't really see. Um, because it's dark out. Uh, we've got it sealed. We've got it vacuumed. Um, now we need to work on getting some of our atmospheric collection going and I think that's going to require a lot of pipes um, probably a lot of valves <sighs> yeah then I'm gonna need something to control everything too so that'll be fun um, oh, man this is I mean, let's just start where we need to start, and we'll just set up our stackers first, because that's kind of what we need right now. Um, our water, I think, is still good, so let's just go over here. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into here. Excellent. There's still a lot of vacuum in here. That is what we want. All right, oh, right, we were setting that thing up. Um, okay, uh, right, but first, let's set up our stackers, so that has to go, mm, nope, this way, right, yes, and then I suppose this doesn't really need a stacker over here, but we'll put one over here anyways because reasons, um, okay, so that will be good for all of that, we have our power coming through, somewhere, uh, not through there. If it seems like I'm walking around like I'm drunk or something, I was just playing a game uh, that has a much faster movement speed and much more sensitive uh, turning, so I'm like, eh. Uh, and I'm hitting all of the wrong buttons. What do I need? I need, right, okay. So this gets to go into here. And then let me see where I can plug this in. So probably here. And then we'll get that going to here, I guess. Uh, no, this is going to be a three-way junction going here and then a four-way here. And that can go over to that one, which can then feed all of this stuff too. Uh, all right, so put that there, we'll put that there. Do I want one of these here? Probably. All right, so that just used up a lot of our power cables, that is. All right, so now we need to get this thing to go over here. Okay, so now we have 19 cables to get everything connected. Is it gonna work? Mm, probably not. Uh, and actually, no, this did need to be a two-way, or four-way, whatever. Um, okay, so this can go out to here. You know what I could do? I could replace this one. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter, because, I mean, this uses up two wires, too, so... Whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, 13 cables left. Alright, can we get where we need to go? Okay, stop throwing stuff. Uh, okay.
Okay, that is everything powered and hooked up. Excellent. All right, so now we can test that, test this, wonderful. Okay, um, next thing, uh, we have to get some power in here somehow. Um, I could probably run this way and then in that way. I'm gonna need more cables regardless, so. Uh, let's go and grab some more stuff. Right, you don't actually have to pressurize, dude. All right. Okay. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Um, okay, so we're gonna need a lot more cables, so we'll just start making some. Or you know what I could do? I could just bring all of the ores or ingots and whatnot over to there and just kind of start building over there. It's like there's nothing in there. Okay. Could be a thing that I could do. Uh, okay, so then insulated tank. All right. I'm going to need some way to forge stuff, though. Well, let's just grab this. We'll grab everything we can, and we'll move it over, and we'll start seeing if we can actually get that. Oh, wait, hold on, before I go out of here. What's the temperature like in there? 31, okay. Oh, I don't have room for my suit. Um, okay. Get this out of here, as long as we're waiting. Um, get the temperature down so I don't kill my little ferns because they are still making me all of my oxygen. Okay, so that is 25 degrees. Excellent. Throw that back on, throw that back on. All right. Okay, good to go. Let's see, atmospheric printer, electronics printers. Probably we're gonna have to put a lot of stuff. Gets to go up to 50, good. Okay, so that'll make us a bunch of cable, which will be good. Um, that can go over here, that can go over here. <sighs> All right, um, what do we got in here? Nine so far? Nice, all right. So I'm gonna connect this up over here. And we'll get that going into here. Um, I don't have any way to recharge anything yet. At least over here. So, and then, yeah, we're probably, if we're gonna try to automate these things, we're gonna want all of this to be connected. So that, I think, will be good for now. Okay, so lots of cable here, good. Um, I am gonna have to name these things. So this is the Electro Print Stacker. Electro Print Stacker. Uh, auto Lathe Stacker. Auto Lathe Stacker. Tool Stacker. 
and the Atmo stacker. Atmo stacker. All right. So that'll be useful for when I start actually trying to um, program these things. I keep trying to sprint holding the, sh the shift button, but I can't do that in this game. So that's fun. Uh, all right. I don't need you to pressurize anything. All right. Good. All right. Let's get our battery swapped out. Okay. Grab more of this stuff. Um, can I put this into here? Uh, sure. Oh, I have more iron here too. Okay. That can go there. Alright. So that is, I think, all of our stuff here. This no longer needs to be on. Um, okay. Uh, we're at 299 kelvins, so this can actually go into there. Um, that can turn off. All right. Let's move some more of this stuff over. All right. Okay, so now for the atmospheric stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna wanna set it up out over here, and then we'll set up our actual tanks outside, as I said, so in just case, you know, it decides that it wants to blow up, it won't actually blow up. Uh, I mean, it'll probably still do damage, but it won't hopefully do too much damage. All right, so then this can go here. Okay, so that'll be our little collector, I guess. Um, we can put uh, this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make another one of these to actually get this to work. Um, I mean, maybe not. Yeah. You know. Is that gonna be a crowbar wrench? Probably a wrench. No, hand drill. Okay. And that can go into there. Okay, so this still has a bunch of stuff in there that I want to keep, uh, if possible. Um, all right, so let's put that into there. Uh, let's see, that can go there. All right, so I'm going to put the vent out there, um, and we'll get it kind of sort of hooked up so we can start, you know, pulling stuff from outside. All right. Let's get that going. Okay. We'll put this onto there. And then, uh, let's see, this thing. It's gonna have to uh, flip around. Okay, so that is where that will go. And then, uh, I think we need the electronic parts in here first for it to let me do too much else. All right. All right, so we need to make another electronic part. And that's gonna require gold being in there. Okay. And iron. <laughs> All right, so there is our other electronic part. And then we're probably going to need some more steel sheets too. So let's make those. Go. 
should be good. All right. All right. So now we just got to go and get this thing rebuilt. We got the electronic parts. I've got this steel. Unless it needs plastic. Does it need plastic? I don't know. Um. Okay. Calm down. All right, so we are going to need to have that go down to there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> All right, next thing. Screwdriver. Throw that in there. Oh, it's plastic. Okay. Well, plastic is what you want. Plastic is what you shall have. All right, and then I want to have this power uh, going down below. So that will be from the data because we need to control this thing. Okay, and then that can go to here. I keep hitting like C to go down. All right, uh, we need this to go that way. Okay. Oh, that's not good. All right. Apparently I need some water too. All right. Well, let's get it done. Uh, how are we doing over here? Should be all right. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, so now we need to take a drink. Good. Okay. Ooh, 24 degrees, it's a little chilly. All right, um, that should be okay. All right. Okay, so now jetpack. So, yes, 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 calm down. All right, so next thing, um, we're gonna need some frames. Uh, we're gonna need a liquid tank. We're gonna need another gas tank. Well, two more gas tanks, technically, insulated. Um, one for carbon dioxide, the other one for the stuff after we process out the pollutants. Um, we're gonna need a sensor on there so we can detect when it's daytime or nighttime, and that'll just be a temperature sensor. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need um, IC and an IC housing, which reminds me, I gotta grab all of uh, these things and bring them over. Uh, I can probably bring this, bring that over too. Be a good place to house stuff. Um, this stuff can go into here, I suppose. Coal can go into there. Mm. Yeah, should work. Uh, can we get this? Yes, we can. All right, so that'll be some more storage for over there. Uh, crates, I don't think I have a use for the crates right now. 
Um, okay. So we're at 3,602. That should last me a little while, I think. All right. Um, so, now that that's done. All right. So, uh, first things first, let's set up a large locker. Um, let's set it up here. Should be all right. All right. Is it going to be enough for that? To, yeah, that should be fine. Um, okay, so uh, we have our stuff here. And then we'll make more as it's needed. And then we'll throw this in there too. So it's going to be all of our bars and whatnot. Um, we should have room for everything else here. Uh, we're going to need some frames. So let's make a bunch of those. Um, let's see what else we're going to need. Um, I wonder if I should make this like a windowed thing or if I should keep it like that. I mean, it looks nice like this. And then another thing I could probably make is some consoles. Console, good. Uh, we'll make three. So that'll be one, two, and three. All right. Wait, no, do not make that. Sorry. Uh, where is the other one? There it is. OK. OK, so if we do this, we're going to want, what is this dual? Oh, this is new. Huh. Because that's a regular console where you have the power and the data all in one spot. Then you have it in two different spots. That's interesting. Um, all right. So we're going to do this, do that, do that. Uh, we're going to need hash displays, a couple of uh, gas displays. How many of these have you made so far? It should be good. All right, um, gas display. There's one and two. And then we're gonna need a hash display. Um, just, just the one. All right. Uh, that can go there for now. Okay, so hash will go there, and then gas and gas, and then these all have to be connected in as well. Um, can I take this off for now? Okay, need more cables. All right. I can't even see where this is connected. Okay, and then this one will go here. Okay, so that will connect all of that to that, which means I can probably set these things up. Um, all right, uh, we are still printing cables though, so I probably don't wanna be making too many of those. I mean, I'll use them obviously, but we'll just hold off for now. Uh, all right, uh, glass next. And then we're gonna want our little card here. Turn this on. Uh, pressure for the advanced furnace. Okay. 
Ash display for the advanced furnace. There we go. And then this is going to be the temperature for the advanced furnace. That'll be good. Okay. So that's good. Um, let's see. I should probably put this on its own uh, little power thing. Um, let's see. That's going to be in here, right? Power. I could just make a transformer. That would probably work, right? Just a little transformer. What is that? A trigger plate? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so that is there. That is our little transformer. All right. Um, okay, so I have to figure out how to get this thing. Okay, so we should probably, if we're going to do this properly, do it like this. And then we can run heavy cables into here. And then this will be just completely separate from the rest of this. Uh, okay. Um, that one still has to be there, though. Actually, this one has to change. Um, okay, so that has to go up onto here. And then this one needs to be a you know, one of these things, right? I think. And then that just needs to be connected back into there. All right. Could have just left those. Didn't have to take them out. All right. And then uh, we'll run main power or, I mean, this should technically be main power. And then uh, that's going to go, I don't know. How much power does this whole thing need? Probably not that much. All right, and then we can run this. And then once that goes on, everything else goes on, and we should be good. All right. So that'll be our little power switch for our whole advanced furnace setup. So when we're not using it, we don't have to keep it on. Um, all right, so let's see. I should probably put one of those in here too. Yeah, so like this one should go here and then we'll flip that around. that here, I guess. And then we'll go on the back side and adjust the wires accordingly. All right, so that and that can all come out. And the idea behind this is that way we can replace that main power uh, with you know, something a little bit more substantial. There we go. And then I could actually control that with a sensor if I make this a room or something, um, which could be useful. And then when I walk in here, it'll turn on. And then when I walk out, oh, that's probably not a good thing. Because if I want that to make a bunch of stuff, I want it to just stay on. Huh. OK. Uh, let's see, so let's start labeling these things. So this transformer, transformer manufacturers. Let's see, transformer advanced furnace, good to go. 
and I can maybe control these things from some other something somewhere eventually. All right, um, the next thing that we're going to need is uh, some sort of control for this situation here. So we want to collect in the Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to set up some more stuff here. Okay, so belay that thought. All right, and then we will get this going. Uh, let's see, that can go there. And then, all right, so next thing that I have to do is make a couple more of the advanced, um, sorry, insulated pipes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we have a bunch of steel in groups, I guess. My power is low. Uh, we'll just put this at 500 for now. All right, so that's got to go over here along with our silicon. And then what else do we need to make an insulated tank? Uh, copper, okay. Um, or should I just keep it at 50 and we'll just have stacks of 50 for everything? It wouldn't hurt anything, right? It'd be a little annoying after enough time, but, you know, not terrible. Uh, need more gold than that. All right. Um, okay, so let's make one of these, and then we're going to need an insulated uh, liquid tank. So that'll be the next thing. Okay, so this one is gonna be over here, and this is gonna be kind of like our, uh, I, w I wouldn't call it a waste exactly, but it's kind of what it is. All right, now this is gonna be our liquid pipe. This is gonna house all of our liquid pollutant, which we will uh, condense out of everything. Uh, everything off, everything off, okay, good. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got this, and now we gotta get uh, all of our other stuff up and running properly. So uh, I think that's gonna require a bunch of this. Um, we need like three of these things. Oh yeah, let's put that at a stack of 50. All right. Okay, so I think three was what we needed in order for this to fully condense out properly. Um, so condensation valve, so that's gonna be gas in. And then we'll just put this kind of here. And then we'll need some insulated uh, liquid pipes there which I have some, actually. Uh, insulated regular pipes, make a bunch of these. And then uh, once we have that, um, I don't know if I need a pump over here, because this is just gonna collect, right? And then once we actually wanna process it, then I can hit the pump over here and then force everything into here. 
Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute. And then I don't know if we're gonna want this wire to be right here. Uh, let's make it a three-way. There we go. Have it go this way. Because then at the very least, you know, it's out of the way and we don't have to worry about, you know, anything crazy going on with it. Um, okay, so we're gonna need some, You. oh, we're out of steel, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay, so utility, pipe, gas, uh, all right. We're gonna make a couple of these, or just one of these, I guess. I mean, two, technically, to make a large inline tank. Why, oh why, do you need a large inline tank? Um, well, because we need a place for all of the gas to go. And I'm thinking here might be a good place for it. Is that gonna... I don't know if that's gonna be an issue there. Um, hang on, let me just do it vertically inside. Uh, all right, so, I mean, we're gonna be in a vacuum in here anyways, so I don't think it'll matter too much. Um, hang on, let me just figure out what my brain is doing real quick. All right, so then this will go that way. We'll have a valve in here, and then I can put in one of these. And then this can go here, I guess. And that is where we can put this. So then we'll pump this into here. Uh, we can get a fair amount of pressure and volume in here, which will then force all of the pollutant out, at least it should. Um, and then we'll have another valve over here before dumping all of the other stuff out. Or do I put another pump over here and then kind of pump out of here into there. That might be a better idea. All right, and then, okay, so then that should squeeze all of that. Um, all right, let's grab another one of these, make some insulated liquid pipe. I'm gonna need uh, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, somewhere in there. Okay, and then this becomes a four way. So it was just four, okay. All right, so then that will then condense all of the liquid pollutant into here, which I can then use later. Um, let's see, uh, we could probably get this all connected up as well to power, um, or I could just put like a meter on here, I suppose, and that could work too. Liquid meter, gas meter, so if I see that that's getting, you know, too far, too much, but, uh, I mean, am I going to run out? I don't know. Um, okay, so let's get some pumps. What is my, okay, electricity is there. Okay, so we're gonna need a couple of volume pumps. Do I do turbo? Mm, just regular. I suppose we can do just a couple of regular ones. Uh, okay, gold can go over into there. We'll make two of these. OK, 
Alright. There's that. Alright, and now this has to go other way. Which means that we gotta get our power connections back there. Okay. Which, I don't know, we can then hook up the, the tanks as well, I guess, right? And then we could jump this across the top here or something like that. Um, this will just have a pipe going straight north out of there, so it should be fine. And then that can go, I guess, up. And we'll start moving that over that way. And I need more cable. All right, uh, I also need power. So let's go and get that figured out real quick. go. Um, uh, let's swap this out for now. Oh, uh, before I do that, let's turn that off. There we go. All right. That can go there and there. Uh, oxygen should be okay for a while, hopefully. Okay, so now that I got this, um, we are at 32 degrees in here. Uh, let's see, we'll take this off, take that off, drink some water. All right. So that should be good there. Okay, back to 25 degrees in here, good. Uh, we still have our hygiene warning, but it's just going to have to be there for a while. Um, okay, so that is that so far. Uh, okay, so I'm going to grab a bunch of this stuff. Portable scrubber, these I'll take, that I'll take, I suppose. Um, do I want this scrubber over there? I don't think I need it over there. Hmm. Okay, um, so this is all still well and good. All right, let us continue. All right, so let's get this situated. So that's gonna have to come up out of here so we can use it for something. So we'll get that going up to here. Okay, so that'll be our liquid pollutant, which we'll use for all of our cooling. Um, all right, so we need some more cables. So let's go ahead and make those. Uh, right, that's gonna take copper, which I think is over here. Cable, make a bunch. And then we should probably do some mining as well. Because um, I'm going to start running out of stuff pretty soon. Oh, never mind. I have plenty of stuff. Yeah, okay. So that'll be fine. Uh, it would be nice to get this thing up and running, um, but I'm going to need some sort of supply of something. Uh, hot gas, I guess. Okay, so that can go this way. 
That'll go that way. And then we'll connect this back into here. All right. So that'll be night air that gets pulled in. And then we'll run that through here, which needs a little bit of power. Okay, and then we'll then pressurize this in here to force all of the pollutant out. Um, and then once that is all out, we'll just pump it into here, which is gonna be our waste tank, but uh, we'll also need to capture any CO2 that's in here and then probably volatiles too, so we can store them elsewhere. And then I think that would be everything that's left in here, I think. I don't know, I'll have to run it and we'll see kind of what's in there. Uh, but first, um, we need power to all of that. Um, Let's see, so that's gonna be our heavy cables. It's gonna to have to be our heavy cables. Uh, transformer, put in another small one in here. Uh, iron and gold. There's some iron, there's some gold. All right, so that can turn off for now. All right, so we're gonna have this not go on here? Does that not, is that not a thing that can go on there? Uh, okay, so let's put this on here then. It's gonna have to go on there anyways. And then we'll throw the transformer on top of that. Okay, so power in, power out that way. Okay, I think that is correct. Okay, and then uh, I really do want to have some heavy duty wire as kind of like our main main feed wire, I guess, going through everything. And then we can run that up, I guess, here. So not exactly on the corner, but kind of one off of it. That was my stomach arguing with me. I don't know why it argues with me so much. Okay, so then that would then be fed through there. And then this would then have to go and do that whole thing, I guess. Um, hmm. Nope, I still need that. Uh, okay, so let's just keep going with this. See how far I can get anyways. Okay, more heavy duty cable. Uh, do we have gold in there? We do, we don't have very much though. It is an issue. All right, um, heavy, if I get to spell, there we go. I should probably check the solar panels up there to make sure that they're still in good condition and they haven't taken any damage. Um, we can do that while that is processing. Because I think we take about 30% damage every storm uh, to solar panels and whatnot. Uh, you don't have to pressurize, sir. All right. All right, and then damage, nope. Okay, there should be another storm coming soon, so I just wanna make sure that we're you know still good to go here. Uh, let's see, do I have gold? I do not. Okay, so I need more gold. Um, let's see about, I have 18 gold. Could always use more though. All right, uh, let's see, it's a little dark over here. Oh, there's some gold right there. Is there any more gold? Yes. Some more iron in there, good. Some nickel, sure. No oh, gold, more gold, I like gold. All right. OK, 
Okay, so gold, iron. I think that's all the gold that's in here. Potentially. Certainly not seeing anymore. should be good for now. Um, we'll get this processed and then uh, we'll have more gold so that'll be good. Alright, uh, so, so we'll take that gold, throw it into there. That's still good, right? Yes. Alright. There's another 50. Good for us. Um, okay. Anything else I'm going to need? Uh, probably silicon would be a good thing to have. Um, yeah, so let me throw this in there. We'll get that set up. Because I'm going to need a lot of insulated pipes and stuff. So, just put that there for now. Um, alright, so we are at 539... And what's our temperature? 597, 98 going up. Okay, good. Let's uh, see if I can get that to go up a little bit faster. There we go. So that is our silicon. Excellent. All right, good. So uh, more silicon, more gold. Uh, that will be good. Uh, anything else that I need to do, like perhaps change out my battery? At 72%, ooh, that's, well, that's not really doing anything. Um, hmm. I mean, it's charging, it's just slow. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, um, power here is good. Uh, wait, should I make more steel? I should make more steel. I should definitely make more steel. Um, okay, so let me, uh, let's just throw this out there for now. All right, so this all needs to be degassed. And then hopefully I haven't passed the hottest part of the day yet. I really hope I haven't. Uh, I have. Okay. I'll throw some silver in there. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get this to go up. See how high up I can get it anyways. I need to hit 900. And then by leaving that on, it allows, I think, the temperatures to mix better and more quickly. OK, 
Okay, so there is 800. Nine hundred is going to be five hundred and twenty seven, six hundred twenty seven. Yeah, six hundred twenty seven. So I don't think I'm going to get there. But what I can do, get as high as I can, throw in just a little bit of silver. Wait, is that going up or down? It's going down. Okay. How are we doing? Eight sixty four. Okay, so that'll be good there. Uh, we'll turn that off. We'll pull these out because they will be all lovely and degassed. And the last one, sir. Am I missing something? I am missing something. Oh, wait. Is this... Did I not put in enough iron? No, I think I did. Uh, that is, that's not telling me what it is. Um, well, that's awkward. Uh, okay. We'll figure it out. Um, so let's just get ourselves up to temperature first. So that'll be with this guy. Okay, so that'll get us up to 900. Jeez, that's a lot. Um, all right, and then that can go back into there. Okay, yeah, so I did miss one stack of iron. Okay, hopefully that doesn't drop the temperature too much. It's a little, little iffy. Okay. Wait, wait, how did I get... Oh, no. How does that happen? Okay, well, whatever. Um, that's why we have a centrifuge. So we'll just throw that in there for now. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, so that is good there. Um, we'll let that loose. Uh, let's see, what else can I grab and bring with me? Do I need the silver with me? Is there anything that I don't need with me? Not especially. Oh, and my hygiene is blinking red now, what? All right, um, well. Let me drop this stuff off first. Uh, we'll throw the silver in here. Silicon is more important right now. And then uh, we're just about at an hour anyways, so once we get this dropped off, um, I'll head over into our little fern gully area. All right, so that is good there, that's good there, that's good there, all right. Okay. We'll pick that up for now. Uh, we'll just toss it in there. Okay. Next. Um, that does not need to be there. Uh, we can swap that out. Okay, and now I'm going to sit and just uh, relax in here for a while and wait for my hygiene thing to go back up. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, hopefully you'll join me for the next one. But until then, have a good one.